I'm careful not to slide this uh, big pile of snow. Now I'm just uh, widening the selection and again using the control alt and shift deselecting the sky part of the forest and just applying the mask and now we have this uh, left uh, forest done I'm just looking for some missed spots of the mask and just refining it and it's done the left part Now I will focus on the road, so again duplicating the background and using the selection tool uh, starting from the top side of the road. And just be careful, I'll be careful not to select any of the background mountain and forest. Now I'm doing just a white selection which I can clean up with the mask of the left and right forests. Now using only control and alt left clicking on the left and right forests I'll just will clean up the selection and I'll have the selection of the road and I can make a mask with and just fill some of the missing gaps with that mask with the white color and this mask is done now Now I'm going to extract uh, the the background mountain and forests uh, from everything else. So I'm just making a quick selection. The only accurate part of the selection should be the one that touches the sky because I can again clean it with control and out and left clicking the forests and the road to clean up the selection so as you can see this is the cleanup selection and the mask with a copied background on it I'm just uh, duplicating the forests make a quick selection uh, duplicate the forest just to extend it uh, many times in uh, doing projection work you have to uh, switch between your 3D application and Photoshop just to paint stuff in because uh, uh, many times you you find problems with uh, missing parts that needs to be uh, painted additionally so I'm just extending the forest and the mountain a little bit just to be safe Uh, this extension does not need to be accurate because uh, probably it won't be seen much when we animate the camera inside of Maya. So I'm just continuing to uh, copy stuff and I'm just fixing the seams that are left from the selection. just refining it a little bit more now just uh, I'm going to merge the two together so I'm just doing a selection of the first one and adding that selection to the mask of the previous layer and when I merge it we have the whole thing together with the correct mask so the next thing that I'm going to do is to uh, extract the sky from the photo so I'm going to duplicate the background layer now 
and I'm going uh, now to start painting in um, and extending the sky on top of the trees so that way we have a better camera move and a cleaner uh, background with the sky on it so just using the clone tool and uh, selecting colors near the trees and just painting it painting them out of the photo doing the same with the mountain and the left forest now continue doing the same but with the left forest only I need to be careful about the gradient of the sky just to make it uh, more natural as it was in the photo so I'm just copying the selection to make it more uh, refined So that pretty much finishes uh, this part of the tutorial. So I'm just going to uh, rename, rename the layers and uh, arrange them. So in the next tutorial, I will focus more uh, on Maya, uh, modeling the separate uh, sections for the projection, setting up uh, the materials and the projection itself, and then uh, animating the projection with the camera inside of Maya so I'm just finishing renaming those layers so thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial